Hey, welcome back to Base Grid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a thumbnail. So part of my job as an edtech coach or an edtech facilitator is to teach concepts to students that they're gonna end up using at some point. And so uh, I was watching this podcast from the Waveform, Marcus Brownlee's podcast, and there was something really interesting in the episode where uh, Colin and Samir were talking about, I'll play it for you, you can hear it for yourself. Anyone can upload thumbnails now, right? I think. Yeah, I think so, yeah. But like thumbnail designer is becoming, it's great that it's becoming like a job in our world, right? Like, mm -hmm. that's like, that's a difference between a million views and a hundred thousand views a lot of times mm -hmm. is your thumbnail. A thumbnail designer is becoming a job for people. People can become thumbnail designers. And so I thought to myself, hey, I wanna create digital content creation. I've taught them about communication collaboration. I've taught about information literacy. Now I wanna do content creation on the roadmap. So this is the task that I've set. You can read this for yourself. You are a specialist for enterprise tech YouTube channels. Mark has hired you to design a thumbnail for his upcoming tech review of the all new 2022 EQS Mercedes. What you need to do is you need to create a hook for a thumbnail for Marcus's YouTube channel. So here we go. Um, this is the new EQS sedan from Mercedes. And I've done basically a quick check on Marcus's channel, okay, uh, MKBHD. And I've looked that, look, uh, most times he adds a picture of himself and I like it because it creates this this hook, it creates this emotion, this personality, the persona, that this person has an ex uh, a surprise expression or is confused or is, you know, there's emotion behind it. So that creates the hook. And you can see that, you know, quite quite a few times. Look at this, you know, it's creating a hook, it's creating a hook every time he's got his picture there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a Google search for MKBHD and I'm gonna find a picture of Marquez that has some emotion in it. Uh, you know, you don't know whether this is a good car or it's a bad car. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a picture. Today we're gonna be using an application called, or a website called Photopia or Photop, okay? So let's go ahead and create a new project. And what we're gonna do is for YouTube, we're gonna do a 1280 by 720p. And I wanna make sure that the background is transparent and go ahead and create that. So now that we've got our frame, what we can do is let's go ahead and grab our pictures. What's really brilliant about um, Photop is that you don't need to download images. You can just go ahead and copy and paste. So I'm gonna click on this picture here. I, I do like the surprise expression that he has going on here. Let's see if we can find something else that is, this is, oh, actually this is perfect, man. I like that. Yeah, I like this, I like this. This this is the one. Okay, so let's go ahead and just right click and say copy image. And then we've got to Photop, edit and paste. So now that we've got that picture, that's fantastic. What we wanna do is we wanna get rid of the background because obviously we wanna have the car in here. So let's just go ahead and press on, we've selected this layer and then we're gonna go ahead and press on select and go to magic cut. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get rid of the background as much as we can um, and the magic cut does a really good job at that. So here we go, let's, we're gonna take the green brush and then select the foreground or select what we want so here we go, let's just select all of this. Perfect, I'm gonna take some more of his hair here because I want it complete. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. And now what I wanna do is because uh, the backgrounds come into, the, into our image, I'm gonna click on the red brush and just make sure I, you know, highlight this background with the red brush and that's gonna get rid of that background. Not bad, I think there's a little bit here that I wanna get rid of. All right, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna quickly get his shoulder a little bit. That's, that'll do, I think. You can finesse this, take your time, finesse it, work with it. You know, when you're doing it in class or with your students, or you're doing it for yourself or your own YouTube um, channel or whatever, then you can, uh, you know, take your time with this. Just gonna get rid of that a little bit. All right, I think that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and press on OK. And we've got our image of Marquez. Now, one thing that I wanna show you here is if you click, if you double click on the layer, so if I double click on this layer now, I wanna go ahead and just do some of these options here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a drop shadow. And I like to do a couple of drop shadows. And also I wanna do a inner glow. Okay, so let's go ahead and press on okay. You can see what that's, what that's done is create this inner glow. 
and it's created this drop shadow as well. So that's fantastic. I wanna go ahead and move that to the side. How do you move things? Now, it, it seems quite obvious, you know, that you wanna move things. However, if you, if you don't select this move tool, you can pick it up and move. If you wanna change the size of this, just click on the transform controls and then you can drag from the corners and resize this. If you press on shift and you resize it, then what it does is it keeps that aspect ratio. Let's go ahead and undo that. And we're just gonna move this to the side like that. I'm gonna move it there. Let's go ahead and get, grab the picture for the car and we'll do the same thing again. So here we go. I'm gonna grab this uh, EQS. Uh, I'm gonna go press and select magic cut. And then let's just go ahead and mask what we want. And then the background, I'm just gonna get rid of all of this. Again, what I wanna do with this image is I wanna go ahead and create that drop shadow. Now, what you wanna do, obviously you wanna have a hook, so let's get some text here. Let's type here, my new EV. And then I wanna resize this text, so go ahead and make this as big as I want. I, I want the text to be white, so very simply, it just change the color here. I'm gonna drag this color picker to white and press an okay. And, and then that's, that's that done. What I wanna do now is I wanna go ahead and grab a background. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in background, an orange background for this. Oh, I found one already. I think I found one already. That's, I, I, like, I like this one here. Let's just quickly go ahead and grab this. Of course, when you're doing this and you're teaching it, with, you're doing it with students or whatever for yourself, make sure you, you've uh, either gone to tools and you've done user rights and you've got Creative Commons licenses um, so that you're allowed to use it. Let me quickly go ahead and throw it down in Photo P. Let's go ahead and image and paste my option. Now, it's obviously not in the right space, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag down that layer past Marcus's head. Woohoo, that's looking pretty sweet. <laughs> okay, I don't like how this is covering the question mark, so I might actually go ahead and let's move this a little bit and change the text so it's coming from this side. One sec. Yeah, that's it. The text isn't really popping out, so I'm gonna quickly go ahead and double click on that um, that layer. And then maybe I wanna do an inner glow, maybe a couple of drop shadows. Okay, press on okay. Yes, that is it, that's the one. That That's the one, man. I think I've got it. This is a wicked thumbnail here. And we've done it, what, in five, 10 minutes? Maybe do it for your old YouTube videos if you're watching this for that purpose. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.